Welcome back to Tambay TV on the Taglish Network on YouTube. Check us out, like the page. I am Pyle Farda once again hosting this shindig. Cheers, my guys. And back in the Tambay couch, on the Tambay couch, is John D. John say howdy. 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 Today is a very special episode because. What are we talking about? Yeah. Upak tayo ng drum roll. X Men. We're gonna hit. We're gonna talk about our favorite X Men, favorite X Men teams, the crossovers. Ah, this is an all X Men episode. Baka, well, I don't know how far this is gonna go because we 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 are we are we grew up with the X Men. These are the yeah. diba, these are like the, the cartoons we watched as kids, and Jim Lee's X Men number one is what got me drawing to begin with. It was the most amazing comic up to the, the well speaks volumes for its worth because it's like did you know Jones nah, what brother the, what record that comic book holds yeah what Guinness book of world Best record selling in a year of all time Best I want to hear it comic book of all time by my man from Korea raised in the States Jim the idol heads up and hats off to that guy for getting us started in that world or, yeah. which brings me to my first question to Jones. Jones, what was your first X-Men book? Was my, it what, my Jim My first X-Men book? Oh, John Byrne. Because we, we are 90s kids, so yeah. I was born... We were born in 80s, though, not growing up in the 90s. I had one short. really fast, and then I lost it. Because that was the time na uso ang overnight. Alam ni <laughs> Overnight. That doesn't come back. I use that to my advantage. <laughs> but there are some who nakakala just oh, but to put it in perspective and sa mga hindi nakakaalala, Jones, ano yung overnight? Yung overnight yung Oh, you have a nice comic or toy. Pwedeng pa overnight. <laughs> you won't see it again. Ay, hindi na po mabalik. <laughs> <laughs> pero nagagawa ko yun sa mga busmate ko na bata pero sa mga kaklase mga pare balik mo naman yung pagkakalang busmate yeah. kita eh. it was our early version of utang yes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. utang debt when you borrow money pero honestly man. Oh. honestly brother Fadja oh, pag ikaw yes. nagpapag papahiram parang feeling mo na may mga ta- do, depende that person a favor depende kung kanino mo at kung ano yung hiniram pag kunwari yeah, favorite comic okay th- there's two kinds of Diba? Meron kang pahiram na kahit na hindi mo na balik, regalo ko na sa iyo. Yeah. May ganon. Pero meron din yung, shit, this is my only copy, balik mo yan. Yeah. Ganon. Diba? Or pag may pinahiram mga ka na kaibigan na alam mong once you lend it to them, it's not coming back. That's Medyo, done, you yeah. kind of know their person. Just like you're lending money yeah. to relate it to like more our age-ish. Warning to everybody. Uh, there, yeah. <laughs> anyway, first X-Men comic book. Naalala. Na naalala mo or love or whatever. To bring the X-Men to consciousness in your world. Uh, what was it? When I had the X-Men 1 for a short time again. And then, was that uh, the first? Yeah. Yun talaga yeah. eh, diba? Yeah. And then I had like um, Uncanny X-Men a couple, probably like three to four issues. Bakit Uncanny? Ba't ka bumalik Uncanny? Uh, well, that was what was being touted by Phil Bars <laughs> at the as... time as the hot comic. Um, after that, I delved into uh, okay, cool. Marvel Age, uh, just checking out who the cool characters were, and in all honesty, a lot of the coolest ones were X Men. Look, the original five. Original five. Pael. I mean, that uh, was a good team. Like everything was. Did, everything was honestly, if you're looking at it from a growing up point of view, not not, we're talking about back in the day, as in your first. Dalliance palang, bro. Yeah. Not, I'm not talking about. Mommy, we'll get into the favorites later. Yeah. But then growing up, 
the original five were not the strong five in the 90s, diba? Yeah, but they, they, for me, it seemed like a really good good team. Okay, awesome. that they had like, you know, all bases covered to some extent. I segment na natin dun sa, sa tanong ko na una. To my first question. Uh, excuse me. Who would be your favorite X-Men team? That's nice, you know. In the 90s, naging blue and gold yan. Exactly. Uh, naging blue and gold. Sharp. Uh, oh, explain mo sa kala kung ano yung blue and gold. Uh, blue, blue, th- well, basically, they were split into blue was held by Cyclops, the more conventional team. Gold was headed by Storm. Storm. Uh, strike Force, but they were the Gold Strike Force? Yeah, was yeah. it called something like that? Uh, they, they were trying to do a bit of the Avengers West Coast thing. Uh, it uh, didn't quite fly at the end of the day, but uh, it did segment the team properly into the more conventional blue team and so, the more offbeat gold team. So, okay, before we get into your favorite, blue team ka ba nung time na yun? O tanong pa ba to? Sa akin kasi hindi na tanong yun eh. Kung gold team ka ba o blue team? I was blue. Uh, Kasi, mo I mean, natin, oh, come on! <laughs> I knew that was coming somewhere there. Talagang nag shout out sa ADMU! Howdy! Present, howdy! But, but, but yeah, present a more conventional team. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a, a comic created team. You can come up with your lineup. As in, sino favorite mo na mga X Men? Oh, sige, to, to make it easier, if you were to put up uh, an X Men team, I don't even think I, I can answer this question, to be honest. So, don't go back. Top five. Top five. Members. Na type mo. If you were to create an X, what is an X Men team? With, kumpaga, none of these, none of these five people who you'll name. Uh, you can, re- of course, you can name out, 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 of, think, out of left field stuff. Yeah, I, th- I think historically it should be something really substantial. Uh, Wolverine is an obvious answer for. Uh, really? All, I, I, th- I think all of us. Even if, alam mo naman na Wolverine was never really part of the original. Right? Yeah, but uh, he became uh, tantamount to what the X-Men were yes. during the 90s. That's true. Uh, even Gambit. You know, Pero, uh, alam, yeah, that's what I find puzzling. A lot of the, even the cartoons, para napakaliit na role Gambit. Albeit sometimes he's like the anti-hero. He's always like portrayed as the bad guy. But I, in I the 90s, thought... he was a staple. X-Men yeah, yeah. Team I, I actually thought that uh, he epitomized a lot of the 90s. Uh, Is that uh, why he's not so hot now? Because he was only relevant I think his so. Time? I, I would think so. Really? Um, so again, going back to the question, part 5 five Yeah. Part 5 five more? Part 5 five. Part so would be I think I would, like, I would like Storm there to level kailangan. things out just because of her power. Kailangan, kailangan. I mean, let's have that element. Yeah. She, uh, I think uh, muscle. If, wala muscle. If, well, I, I would actually have uh, Magneto or Jugger. Not really. There. In your mind, is Magneto an X Man? This is the nice conversation. He's become. He has become an yeah. X Man. He is an, yeah. nowadays in in present Marvel. He's part of Uncanny. I get what you mean, X-Men. and I adhere to that. Hindi siya conventional. No, but uh, yeah, he is yeah. not. But in your mind, because me growing up, he he's kind of he's, just the bad guy. That's, he's a foil. Oh, hey. he's the, he's think the green, Joker green, to their bad guy. Yeah, in my head. Uh, I'd always. I'm not have, questioning your choice. I'm oh, just, oh, yeah, no, yeah. actually, I'm, uh, I'm questioning your choice. I'm just <laughs> asking for a little bit of an explanation, expound on why Magneto. I'll get to Juggernaut after that. That's also well, a bit questionable. Well, I, I think he did enough. Uh, I think a lot has to uh, rest also on uh, probably Shadow Cat. I love Shadow Cat. I right? love Katie Pride. Yeah. Uh, Katie Pride uh, just got the Pride. Marvel Legend. They had yeah. the, the collectors out there, Marvel Legends has re- recently come up with a like, uh, modern. Well, now she's back to her Shadow Cat blue costume, but her yellow and black one. Nice figure. Get it? Kung interesado kayo. Yeah. Check out uh, my boys at uh, Marvel Legends Facebook. Marvel Legends Philippines. On Facebook, add them up. Heads please up to do. you guys. Please yeah. Do. yeah. That, it's a good marketplace to get Marvel Legends. Anyway, going back. So, yeah, the more we are, we so Logan. Gam, ah, you Wolverine, ba, Logan? Kailangan yeah. Logan? Yeah. You, I am oh, X23. Yeah. Okay, yeah. alright. So, Logan Gambit. 
Magneto. Yeah. Storm. That's really offbeat as we Storm speak. Storm and... So fifth, this is where it gets fun. Stop it with Juggernaut. Uh, Why you can take it back. For true muscle? You don't really need muscle. If you don't want muscle on your team, you don't have to. Why you can armor. I'll get your first four. Ah, oh, oh, spun reason. it on me. Spun it on me. Like, before I start on mine, I just like to comment on yours first. Okay, okay. Complete the answer. Okay, okay. So, so fifth. All right. It has to be done. I hate it. Pero, all it, right. It, it's your team. <laughs> Don't say Cyclops and not mean it. And I'm again, pop 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 Don't exactly. Don't say Cyclops until you mean it, man. So, alam ko yung basis sabi mo. Bigyan natin ng Daken. May Wolverine ka na, may Daken ka pa. For continuity. Yuck! Yeah, over X-23, problem. sorry, I, I hate that character. Well, sorry, I'm no, I do no, not mean fine. to offend, no. but Daken is not, Daken, Daken, whatever. So, to those who don't know, who is Daken? Real quick, John. Anak lang naman siya. Pero, no. oh, he's a Dami, okay. D- Daken is the official or the the natural Cannon, born oh. no not cat x23 oh. is canon but not a kid of what x23 is a clone they can as a kid sino uh, nanay i don't know don't hate us for that uh, but i just we're drinking iced tea <laughs> <laughs> as so, we said so, the iced tea <laughs> this podcast never starts without the iced tea <laughs> don't drink the kool-aid <laughs> that's, not a, that's not that's not a racial story by any means anyway so, wag, wag. I'm sorry, I can't oh, accept. Oh my god, I got it. Oh. I have my fifth. Oh. I have my fifth. Oh. The acceptable is taken, wag. Sorry. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> sige, sige. Archangel. Nice. Why? Right. He's so badass. Eh. I mean, the oh four horsemen ang asya. And he has metallic wings that Alam shoot ba, out the spikes. Uh, uh, pre- again, going back to present day Marvel. Alam mo bang there is an... Un- well, it's, I don't know if it's finished. I haven't really checked out the other issues. There's an apoc- It's called the Apocalypse War. It's spread, it's spread over three sto- three books. Before I answer my yeah, favorite, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll tie it in with what's amazing with your No, team. I'm just interested now. <laughs> okay, there's, you have your... As you guys you, should You be have too. three X-Men teams. You have uh, the Uncanny X-Men. Uh, Uncanny X Men currently has uh, Cyclops, Magneto, uh, Psylocke, Shepre, mga favorite kuna alalo. And, yeah, yeah. and then some. And then the other. It's led, basta, what's important is it's led by Magneto and Scott Summers, who, who is present day bad. Yeah. Tapos, there's the Extraordinary X Men, who's got mostly your team except for Magneto it's got yeah. Storm it's got Wolvie I said the old man Wolvie yeah. and oh my god I'm blanking Fire, Firestar stop you, you, you out, out of your team yeah. they're split that's what I'm saying Apos the, the fourth one is the all new X-Men which contains the original four X-Men from the past but back to the present how do you guys like that? Oh, that's the all new X-Men with X-23 yeah. So, see, that angel and the current Archangel are like at, at odds because Archangel is one of the apocalypses. Qualify ko lang si X-23, uh, yeah. Oh. I think she's cool as a standalone or maybe even in a... Team token. set, eh? Come on, now. That's where we <laughs> okay. uh, uh, diverge in a yellow wood. Explain, explain why. For me... That's uh, why, bitch. <laughs> X-23, I think, has enough juice. Uh, in the character, I think there's enough potential there uh, to break out. Uh, they, they they try to do this with uh, the X Men, uh, Nate Gray. Okay. Oh, correct. Nate Gray. Right? Yes, yes, uh, yes, Nate, yes. Nate Gray. And uh, although lahat naman kasi yun, it went a bit overboard because he had like most of all their powers, yeah. right? Yeah. That, that just doesn't work. I mean, who who wants a Franklin Richards, right? Who's gonna read about Ooh. that? Really? Next time, they're fantastic for, but yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but, and then because Franklin Richards was just too strong again. Exactly. Again, my theory with the trouble of having characters who are too strong, the stories are yeah. just bound to go cosmic. And, and, and the first one was explainable Mike versus Unstoppable. Who created Objects Beyonder? Because he, he was really firstly accused of that. 
It might have been Liefeld pa nga yata. Hindi, Beyonder. <laughs> well, look it up. Google it and yeah. mention uh, it in the comics. Anyway, so, yun ang current, ano. So, Archangel yeah. is one of the apocalypses right now. So, there's the Kid Apocalypse. Ah, Extraordinary X-Men has Kid Apocalypse. And then, basta, it's, it's an amazing storyline. Uh, drawn by the amazing Ken Lashley. He was here at Comic Con last time. I'm, I, I met awesome the guy. Man. Cool black guy, big black guy. Talks well, about anything with like world ap- apocalypse, image. really. Apocalypse. Uh, I, I think you know, next school, that you know, guy has singer. a good five mythos. On five. Uh, he, he basically fucked everything up. So, because uh, he can, because he can, just to fix, just to fix, quote yeah. unquote. Fix. The messianic complex. Oh. Um, oh, real quick. Real name the apocalypse. Uh, three syllables. Five. El Nabu, sir. Wow. Oh, almost there. Four. El Sir Nabu. Almost there. Three. El, two. Come on, and Sabanur. El Sabanur. I'd like to see you <laughs> squirm, bro, a little bit. Yeah, but honestly, yeah. W- w- one of the better villains. That marvelous come up with. Really. Yeah, how about my villains? Let me let me come up with my five. Then it's off the top of my head. I did not, you know, pre- yeah. oh, But well, I'm a big fan, so I've played with these, you know, characters in my mind. And sometimes using those characters <laughs> on my mind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what he means. <laughs> when we choke the bishop. Okay. Uh, my five would be Psylocke has to be there, hands down. I love her in X Force too because she gets to really unleash the ninja and the stabbing and the cutting yeah. of heads and shit. The initial run of X Men, because with her, she was subdued. Eh. Well, which one? The she first. She was basically subdued, like in which not, run? Not the for, fourth run. In which run? Uh, for, first two runs before Executioner Song. No, she's been. Are we talking about the Jim Lee run? If we're talking yeah, about the yeah, Jim Lee run, yeah. she, read the shot, bro. If you re, if you reread yeah, it, yeah, but, she's in the front forefront, not in right, not in the right, sidelines. Yeah. Talagang, kasi, um, Jim Lee being Asian, talagang ino pa kanya yung drawing niya sa ilog. She's everywhere, even in yeah, uncanny. She, she set the standard. She was yeah. she was known because of how Jim Lee drew her. Yeah. It, it was the way Jim Lee drew her. And then Jean Grey, diba? It, or Rogue pa nga, bago Jean Grey. Kasi Rogue ni Jim Lee, higher Correct, yeah. Diba? Yeah. Sexy yeah. yung... It's Sylvester, Sylvester it, also. Even the colors were the same. It's our original Phoenix anyway. Diba? Yeah, now that you mentioned that, I never... It's like right in but, front but, of my face. But the face, cartoon, yeah. you guys have to see the cartoon if you haven't seen that. Uh, Mame, sa recommendations yun. Don't get, don't right. get ahead of the other. So my team would be Psylocke. Wolvie, honestly, just so we're current, I'd stick to Laura because Old all Man right, Logan, right, yeah. Nigel. Yeah. I really don't know how I feel about it yet. The parang. He's Where does it place it? Because, okay, diba, I, we, uh, earlier in the podcast, we talked about the, in, in the other podcast episode, which you should also listen to, click on the channel. Um, we discussed Old Man Logan. Yeah. Your Old Man Logan, he's now. He, again, the dimension traveling bullshit. He ends up in present day. Yeah. So you have an old Wolverine, a young Cyclops, Jean Grey, Archangel, Arch- Arch- Angel and Beast, yeah. na hindi pa blue. And you have an old man. Parang it, that's where the story, it's like from the the best of wherever they're trying to put it into well, current line. Yeah. So, pero I'm not really sold on this Wolverine that they've crafted. The major my issues na. Uh, I had kids, you know, hindi na yung... Well, I think it's trying to be in, in tune with the times. Because mm-hmm. uh, Wolverine yes. at the time... Uh, Represented all the angst, the... Cutting edge, yeah. Diba? And then Gambit was the foil. Yeah. I have to go there because uh, it was really, really... Really? I, I'm surprised that you picked Gambit. Hindi, because uh, like, even mother, the mother series, the uh, so animated series, it was obvious that they were supposedly... <laughs> The opposites. Bo- well, bo- both are tweeners. Sa akin mas, sa akin mas Cyclops talaga yung the boy scout versus the Cajun and the the yeah. the bub. <laughs> but it was really really uh, ahead of its time that they had those two anti heroes, Gambit and and Wolverine. That's true. Can we think of Justice League? Gula naman silang ganon na person. Yeah. 
Well, well, don't take it from my tone of voice, no. Just the league rules. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, Laura, shit. Honestly, I'm tempted to say it's like a, one version of the X Force. It must have happened somewhere down the line. I'd also have Storm. I just have to have Storm. And maybe I'll get the young Jean Grey too. Well, yeah. actually, extraordinary X Men more or less. Plus, the it's the transpose with the X twenty three. Because right now she's being mixed with the young ones, with the young yeah. X Men. There's a bias there. <laughs> Speaking of which, favorite, I know, X Men. Okay, recommendable. Recommendable. Mamelio. Yeah. That's, 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 uh, you say nga, just one. People are familiar with the Dark Phoenix, but is would that be your number one, or do you want to boil it down to two? Shadow mo mahirap ang one. I kind of like the twelve, but I'll probably go back to. Uh, the twelve is an apocalypse story, yun, ito? Apocalypse. Oh yeah, pero uh, like heavily X Men, sure. Uh, just for the mythos, I mean, it could have been done better, definitely. Uh, Dark Phoenix, uh, prob- probably really there, you know. Uh, I think. Shi'ar, sina Gladiator. Galactic Storm, Avengers, kasi. <laughs> yeah, X Men. Wala kang mapili na X Men. Uh, maybe Executioner Song. Nice. The all. Uh, yeah. Narrating like five sentences. Executioner Song. Nalala mo pa ba? Uh, Badass X Five. Sino yun? Yeah, five sentences. Badass. X. Exclamation <laughs> point. X5. Uh, Phalanx X5. Covenant. Uh, okay. Uh, Meta, okay, so, uh, I'm asking this so you could share like an amazing sto- X-Men story. From your point, it gets more. More than naming the books they should read on, pick one that you want to sell it. Sell it to, the, sell it to, to them, to, to the ones who want to get into X-Men. Um... Uh, you love X Men. We love X Men. Yeah, and, and, and Bro, this is not. Uh, initially, I didn't like it. Uh, House of M. Okay. Um, What's amazing about House of M? That's what I'm getting at. I think really just uh, bringing a lot of characters. Uh, but it's not major cheating, yun. Because House of M, para crossover na yun sa Avengers. Eh. Pwede rin. Sa, sa, yeah. But uh, yeah. that's what that's what's yeah. part magical with it. Okay. Uh, well. I guess solely for the X-Men, probably the death of the Warlocks. And the Morlocks, sorry. The Warlocks. The Morlocks. See, a uh, quinto. Uh, well, it, it was blamed on the X-Men, but basically it's another faction. Who is this? The Marauders. And who is the most famous Marauder? Mr. Sinister. You all wanted to say Sabretooth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Sinister. Have you you've seen... Ex- Age of Apocalypse. No? Oh yeah. What's yeah. your take on on Mr. Sinister being uh, Easter egged into that? Dun sa dulo. Mr. Sinister has the ability to be Undertakerish. Pero hindi ba? Is it, shouldn't it have been? For me, what would have been better is inuna nila si Sinister bago si Apocalypse. Kasi di ba parang uh, well, sin- Sinister really kasi. Happens. It's still a product of apocalypse, eh, diba? Yeah, oh, but then product he was... Again siya. And, uh, at the end of the day, when you have them side by side, Sinister uh, is not apocalypse, eh. He's, he's probably one-third one third at least. He, but, okay. One-fourth or maybe one-tenth apocalypse. Astig pa again. Honestly, I had the Toy Biz version of Mr. Sinister, where his chest lights up, and... <laughs> I would play him as Undertaker against my Transformers. Because <laughs> <Bro, share laughs> that's the money that I have. Share with them, because I'm laughing because I understand where this is coming from. Just explain because how do you want to play your action figures? Mo. But share with them. Don't you want to play with Lara Croft in the bathroom, not counted. Yun. It's actually just better than WWE <laughs> and the UFC. They have their fights, they make up. 
<laughs> he plays them like wrestlers. They have a high rope. Oh, yeah. it's, like, it's definitely elbow awesome. Elbow drop, elbow drop. And they started that with GI Joes <laughs> and Transformers action masters. <laughs> but really, for Mr. Sinister, that's a badass guy. Uh, probably Apocalypse kasi would be in the ranks for me as uh, Mephisto maybe. Uh, Sino? Uh, Apocalypse? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Mephisto. Uh, you know, some of the cosmic beings. Like, uh, in between her and all that. Uh, Mr. Sinister is... Hey, palagi, in between her always comes up with... You know, I didn't know that. What? Uh, I, I didn't know that. that you know, he, he would come up say, oh, even... Like, in between her? Yeah. No, no, I mean, I, you're good. But really in conversation with other people also. Well, with, 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 in between her, yeah. I don't know the character. I can't place Wow, I really place. got ahead of myself. And I, I, I can't place my... Who's in between her? Explain that. Well, because... What's his face? He is ano, eh, half black and half white. His costume. I thought you were getting racial. He's supposed to be a, uh, the balance. And this has been done uh, over and over already. Um... But I think with the cosmic beings of Marvel, uh, he, I'd actually want to throw this at Pael right now. Oh, go! Uh, the three top cosmic beings, excluding Beyonder. Ako? Yeah. Eternity, Death, at uh, saka Watu ba kasama doon? Yeah, yeah. Diba? Tama? Yep. Alright, ako pa! <laughs> yep. Keep them coming, man! Sonic, boom back, bitch! And, and this is actually Keep something them. that I'd never uh, think of before, but that... The Watcher is cool, cause he didn't look cool back in the day. He didn't look cool back I in mean, the day. I mean, the big head, and then you're not gonna do anything. Cause like his roles, his his stories have been more um, explored. Uh, he was given yeah. more of a role. Not, there, I forget which storyline, cause I'm getting kind of buzzed too. More than a lot of course. Oh, meron siyang meron siyang isang ano matanya parang was. Uh, thrown to earth there was the scene oh I want it I, wanna uh, I forget I had to, I'll get back to you on that one anyway we're, we're getting away from uh, we just had a throw me a question X break X break yeah, yeah, yeah next question my ca- next question would be nakapili ka na team na okay how about like the X teams I don't know how many X All teams right, we yeah. could name we, as in the two of us that right now can name alam ko syempre X Men, yeah, X Factor, and X Force. X Force. Well, Excalibur. Excalibur. Uh, and uh, tingnan nandiyan sa poster na sino pa? Uh, there was always. Ah, yun yun. Yun yun. Yeah, ba- basically yun, that. Diba? Basically diba? that. Ah, but. Uh, Excalibur yun sino? Mega. Okay. So those who don't know, well, at least back then, because it has changed. Well, honestly, it's hard to say who's in what X team. Yes. Because yes. for two issues, nandito siya. For three issues, nandun siya. And shout out to Marvel. I'm looking forward to your reply on that X-Men script that I worked on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Check that out. That's on my DeviantArt page. Superpael.deviantart.com Check it out. It's there. I mean, uh, it's just, just to give everybody an idea, we have an X-Men uh, full wall poster. Yeah, the Jim X-Men one. one, yeah. If you and open up, if you open up the three gatefold cover, I think that was my first. In, my, how was there ever a gatefold cover opening like that cover ever in before its time? I don't think so. Deba, para hindi na usay mo to pito pinagana until recent until that time. And then Scan- the wizard came in. Wizard came well, in. Well, looking at the poster for we could name all of them there, but uh, for. Excalibur, which which was a, a, a team that I actually uh, followed for some time. Really? Especially the core. The core, Captain of course, yeah, you had Britain, which was... Strong, uh, strong guy is X-Factor. Huh? Yeah. Uh, you had the other Phoenix, Rachel Summers. Rachel Summers. Uh, Megan. Uh, and some other dudes. Who's the one? Britain, who's the one? Is there Wow. So Excalibur ka, don't sa apat na yun Excalibur ka. Um, there's always that. It's hard. Like, it's hard. It's hard. It is. It is. I know. Yeah. I'm not. I'm asking this even without without an answer in my head. So. Uh, the the X teams were all great. 
I mean, X Force had. Ako X Force kasi. If you ask me, not the cable X Force. Well, yeah, a little bit the cable X Force. Pero yung X Force na nandun si X twenty three. X twenty three is really yeah. my girl. So when you know, that killing, it was a. They were, the new the I think it's volume three of the uh, X Force teams. They were the Black Ops. Ni yeah. ng X Men before this was already Scott leaning towards the bad the Scott Summers that we yeah, know. Yeah, major shift na siya. A shift na siya na. Um, X X Force was the other X Men. X Factor was in in between eh. It's in a half of so yeah. X Factor is like Daniel literally Star. the they're literally the B team. Alam mo yun? Yeah. yeah. The, that X Men. They knew it. Uh, alam nila. Um, X Force was the rebel side of yeah, uh, X Men. It was the Rob Liefeld creation, talaga. Nineties, major dated, the yeah. original. And as we always say, it about uh, the pouches. Yeah. Now, did you know that up to now that guy gets paid whenever they use the cable? He should. Out of the, I mean, out of the a, a lot of haters. Deadpool, though. Deadpool. Can we just? Yeah. Can, how can we not men- yeah. mention X Force without mentioning Deadpool? Yeah. Na siya nagdala pala ng libro na yun. The yeah. sales yeah. really skyrocketed. Creation, eh, diba? Creation, yeah. Creation, yeah. Lahat, lahat naman sila ng creation. Yeah. Fair man. Shatterstar. Yeah. Who, again, may Marvel Legends na lumabas. Oh my God. One of the so first good. bisexual. Uh, Was he? Yep. He had a uh, French kiss somewhere there. Do you ah, remember that married, shit? Uh, what the fuck? Well, yeah. Ako, what I would recommend would be me uh of the, um not of all time just be, uh, uh, syempre everyone it's, it's tempting off to say top, yeah. it's it's tempting to say dark phoenix but honestly yeah. uh the story is okay but it fe- it feels dated when i read it uh, don't don't get me wrong i stick it but for me my jam would be would be the trilogy mecha madaya pero kasi to encapsulate it was three good years eh, from messiah thing, complex yeah. Second coming war. and, uh, then, and then, then Messiah war. war. Yeah. That those three years were just amazing. Uh, aside from Shepard, David Finch yeah. was the one who drew it. Oh, like, I love this art. Halo, halo, I mean, halo. I was out of it for most of it. I'd buy single comics. Nakakahuli ka ng mga Messiah complex. Yeah, yeah. Plus more Hope, Messiah War Hope guy. Hope Summers. I love the Hope more Summers. More Messiah War. And this is, it's funny though. You say House of M. I say Messiah Complex, which is right after House of M. Yeah. I did not mean yeah. that. But uh, kasi, uh, Miss House of M had its holes, but then Messiah Complex was just like, okay. It's a traditional walang, type ah, of oh, one. Hey, there are no yeah. more mutants. This is, and this is also an era where X-Men movies are sucking. You know, yeah. walang, There's really no direct love for the X-Men. And then all of a sudden, Hope Summers came yeah. all, X Force is put into play and ganda. Everything about it, you guys I mean, check that out. Just Bishop being Bishop. Bishop being that whole time. Medyo sira ulo ng Bishop. Yeah. Then, uh, and he's supposed to be the uh, anti cable, I guess, also. I mean, I always saw him as that because I didn't want to see him as a cable, cable clone. He's not. He's definitely not. You can feel the difference in their character, even the way they're drawn. Well, yeah, minus the pouches and shit. But. Uh, sorry, uh, just an aside. Bishop, co-created by Will Sportasho. Proud Filipino, my man. Shout out to Wills. And we invented, always love Wills. Yeah, we always he invented, love Wills. He co-created that guy. So, not a Bishop clone. This, it, he gave time. a brother a chance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, he did. He, did. Yeah. he handled on Kenny. He, he's, he's, had, he's inked Jim Lee from time to time, back, back in the day. Anyway, wet works, maybe. That will be an amazing... Yeah. We'll get to, to that. We'll, yeah, get, we'll to get, that. get to that. But right now, we're stuck in X Men. And before, uh, I think we're good. Let's wrap it up with um, storylines we're done, crossovers we're done. But would it be easy to ask? I'll say, instead of that, favorite, Hindi right. best or story wise, favorite lang. Favorite. Ex villain and why? I like that. And that was y. actually. Uh, Meron that was actually I had really to push clear. it down. I had yeah, to push yeah. it down further because we had to cover the other. But now we're on that. Let's sit on that. Honestly. And why? I always like Pyro. 
Really? Yeah, but Juggernaut takes the cake. Ah, alright. This is badass, eh? All I right. mean, can we include Onslaught? Uh, why, why, why? Badass? And what about? Well, just because of the sheer strength. Uh, all things considered. Who is Juggernaut? A high man. In five sentences. Uh, Kane Marco, of course. Oh, sino Kane the Marco? brother of Professor Charles Xavier. Okay, and how does he get his power? You know, he just ate a lot of spinach, man. <laughs> <laughs> Juggernaut uh, stumbled upon. He, well, he's a half brother of Charles Xavier, and he stumbled. He's always hated Charles for his powers, and he was always the brute to Charles. Says, "I'm smart and lanky and skinny." But again, they're half brothers, and he found the gem of Citarac, which gives him his strength. Uh, he becomes unstoppable, which is. Well, uh, his weakness is his helmet. He, once his helmet is taken off, yeah, yeah he's prone he to psychic it, attacks yeah. and more stoppable and whatnot. So that's his weakness. So that's the juggernaut. The, I can't give it a whole. First appeared in, but yeah, that's that's him in a nutshell. Did you know that the, the gem of Citarac fell on, uh, not fell on, bonded with? Is that the right word? Parang symbiote in the thing, but it's current it was. Possessed by Colossus? No, I did yes. not. Yes, I think three years ago. An X Man, I sadly forgot. I was I was hinting on the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> the muscle. The thing with uh, uh, not Juggernaut, Colossus. <laughs> Juggernaut sa tawag sa kanya dati na. No. But the thing, you remember that old video game where he had that four shield? Where you could play f- apat kayo. So, and know, his, his special, special power was that he had it for a shield. Sort of like the invisible girl uh, the woman has now. Uh, that was always cool. Yeah. So Juggernaut ka? Yeah. Ako Omega Red. Oh yeah, we, 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 we delved into that. <laughs> yeah. And he's badass. RKD Kosovich. Okay, so let's face it, man. I mean, mukha siyang may mahabang metalhead dreadlocks eh. Uh, na may bandana. Na di, may bandana. bandana. Uh, headband. Head that band. had the symbol of dark side. <laughs> <laughs> See how we oh, uh, transition into Omega that. Omega beams. <laughs> symbol ka rin dark side. Oh, but. so si Omega oh, Red. Oh man, that would be conflicting <laughs> nowadays if I were to, if we were to bring back Omega Red. I mean, to use Omega Red. Kasi isa pa yan, feeling ko kaya hindi ginagamit na Marvel. They didn't have to pay Jim Lee for that shit. Because he Probably created it. Tendrils, man. Maybe Tendrils. It, it's, not, it's not in right now. Uh, but he was the Soviet Wolverine. I actually have a, I have a short story that I started uh, that was part of my samples for Marvel. I drew a storyline of X-23 finding like a clone of her, but I know, my death factor. Sorry, that's the power ni. Omega, he's yeah. like a vampire. He yeah. has a mutant death factor. It's not a healing factor. Yeah. It's a death factor. He needs to feed on the life source of, of of other mutants or humans for him to survive. That's what makes him an, an amazing. So sa akin, ganun, Omega red sana, na ba, na babae, and I'm gonna call her Omega X. I don't know how that works. <laughs> no, man. Like, I, 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 I think it works right now. Yeah. I wanna... Uh, Explore. Yeah. But yeah, Omega Red, I used him a lot in X Men Children of the uh, Atom. Come, I was so hurt. I was so fucking pissed when he wasn't part of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Although I understood Ping it. Parang, oh, yeah. So, some people had to be sacrificed, and it's but not gonna be Omega Wolverine. Red. It's not gonna be Wolverine. <laughs> and they had to have, like, uh, you know, the generic Spider Man character. Diba? Medyo Ooh, re- generic. Define generic. He had the projectile. <laughs> All right. Instead of the hurricane kick, he had the web web sling, and web ball, web ball. If I'm not mistaken, he had an um, anti air, as well. Captain America din, because he had the shield charge, shield slash, and yeah, then the pataas, and then of course the shield. And Rising the... star. What I liked about it was that they'd always include like uh, offbeat characters. Yeah. No, it's but, Super Samurai, uh, Children of the Earth. That was, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Laki nung, laki nung, but yeah, Omega Red was, sino ba mga offbeat dito sa Marvel vs. Capcom? They kind of hit all bases na eh, because they, 
They, they, they, well, I love Avengers. they had Dormammu nung 3 na. Yo, Dormammu. Uh, Marvel superheroes, who was there? Well, I remember Hulk was there. Iron Man. I think Blackheart was there. Blackheart. Blackheart, Blackheart was, there, was yeah. there. That's where, honestly, that was my first experience yeah. with Blackheart. You I'm had, like, hey, he looks cool, but then, it's a comic, right? I don't know, run off the mill. Was he? Well, well for me, kasi parang, okay, you have the super strong... A character with undefined powers. Yeah. And that was always a bit of a a weird thing for me. Undefined so, powers. So he looks medyo out of. You have to pair him up talaga with like a Ghost Rider because he looks like yeah. he's he comes from like a Spawn world. Yeah. You know. Yeah. He looks like Violator esque. Na medyo ano. I mean Violator. That's a character. For another time. That's for another Howdy! time. Let us know if you guys want a whole Spawn commentary. But that's a. Oh. Yeah. Grabe. And let us know, guys. What's really important here, to, to quote uh, one of the, my favorite shows, Collider, on YouTube that I watch, is not what we have to, what we think, but what's important is what you guys gotta say about the X Men. Write it down, tweet us. You can tweet me at Pael Fajardo or whatever. Let us know your thoughts. Share it. Just be civil. Be civil in there. Right. Civil war. Civil. It's, it's right there, right? <laughs> Any final thoughts on the X Men before we close this thing out? Uh, uh, probably for me, like probably uh, I, I'd want to see them in the comics at least consolidate a team uh, for a long term run, uh, establish that a bit. Define long term run. Uh, a year. Two and a half years. That's a long term. Run. Yeah, two two and a half years. Have them solid. Have them have a, um, a couple of good storylines at least. Um, there's nothing really who right. Who would you use? Who, which character, which I know, which villain would you use as a foil? Villain. Or would you write a villain, or do you will do you have some infighting among them? How, how would you? I think that uh, well, I guess for a villain, uh, a new angle from the Brotherhood. Probably. Uh, that was always for me, like you know. Again, I really... I, I want to pahirapin pa pero si nung brotherhood members sa pita ni ano? The right? original three muna. Which are? The original are? three. Uh, uh, Sebastian. The red, the fast one, and Magnet Boy. Uh, the red. Si the red. Si nung red. Crimson. What's another word for red? Scarlet, maybe. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I always Yung thought... Familia? Yeah. I look, did, did you know that they currently retcon that fact Na apparently they're not really kids of Magnus? May gano'n na naman. Uh, that was I always difficult for me. Now, for those that remember, uh, Magneto had two names. Eric Lenshear and Eric Magnus, Magnus Maximus. Maximus. Yeah, and... Uh, they the read that shit off. Exactly, and... Uh, and but okay, they're, 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 okay, a lot of people go crazy about continuity. And yeah. That's, then what have, how, how about the 70s comic? That's not true now, nowadays. Whatever, man. You've had those stories back in the day. Let the writers play with the play box. Parang, exactly. Parang, it's like a toy chest with all these toys. Yeah. Me being an artist, there are certain characters I would love to draw. And yeah. if you were to, if we were to write a story, I would request, just as how we did in this in this podcast name our favorites you know gusto natin paglaruan we yeah. want to write stories yeah. about that so if they have to retcon some shit along the line let it breathe listen to what they have to say the story they have to tell first and I, then I don't have a problem up. with that me too uh, honestly ikaw wala uh, problema sa retcon uh, honestly retcon. Uh, there will be yeah exactly there will be those that you're not comfortable with yeah. because they were so important yeah. I mean if, if they actually retcon the uh, the, the, the G.I. Joe movie in Cobra La. You know, I have things to say about <laughs> that. You know, we're not going to transform this because, uh, you know, that's, that's another, off limits. That's another <laughs> episode altogether. Eh? Yeah, but Transformers. The, 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 you, even for like He-Man, uh, when they came up with the new adventures uh, with the ponytail, uh, the pulled back hair, uh, that was already weird. Uh, but they have to try. Diba? They have to try. Some will suck. Uh, yeah, and... Um, I, I, I have cool. yet to watch the new Ghostbusters. Uh, my my wife's downloading that as we speak. Um, new Ghostbusters, the one with the women. Ah, I watched that. That was good. That's the thing. I liked it, but it was slushed. 
Eh, basta. Diba? Or, for lack of a better, slugged. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> and, uh... Refer and, to other podcasts for slog story. <laughs> <laughs> Episode before this one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there will be some that you wouldn't want messed with. Uh, mm. Probably best of the best and top gun one. <laughs> oh, that's um, good. That's cool. Yeah. But... It has to evolve also, and that's why I probably I'm able to appreciate a lot of this new, uh, uh, the newer comic book movies. Uh, uh, I'm not so forgiving on some of them, like the yeah. X-Men, specifically the X-Men. I'm Would not you trying to hate... 60%, 60% satisfaction with what's coming up? Oh man, honestly, the more I watch it, the worse it gets for me. Especially Apocalypse, I tried to watch it again. I love the whole scene. Yeah, I even dropped a tear when one of her, one of his horsemen was stopping, you know, the falling debris yeah. on him. Yeah. I liked that until she was dying. That part was cool. I love Oscar Isaac, but puta, I did not buy his Apocalypse really. Yeah. You call you? Did you like it? No. I mean, after these. A lot percent satisfaction. Sixty. Sa ano sa apocalypse? Apocalypse. Mga thirty-five. Oh, de ba? Bye bye. Thirty-five, thirty. Because I almost fell asleep. Well, I probably fell asleep for a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's like. Tapos sa Olivia Munn's okay, but then. Yeah. I don't know. Probably so, the mythos, eh? Because like these are future past. Uh, I know that that thing was pretty much. Ito, I'm not I'm not to be hating, just an opinion. Yeah. I think this is about time singer take a back seat, you know. Yeah. yeah up, up there with yeah. Snyder taking a back seat. Let the people, fresh legs that. Yeah, yeah. let the fresh yeah. legs do the running. Although si Snyder may malamig pa compared kay singer na talaga. How many? Yeah. Four into it? Five. Yeah. Four. 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 Diba? Na medyo, give him a rest. It's it's really gonna. Oh man, I don't even yeah. know what he's gonna do next. Apocalypse just did not hit the mark. Give Tim Burton a crack on it. Meron <laughs> siya, <laughs> It's called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Yeah, that's yeah. his X-Men. That's his X-Men. Oh, well, I'm actually excited for that also. Yeah. <laughs> I get well, excited. Well, anyway, at the, is that all we got? That's all we got for X-Men for this week? So part one. This is probably part one. Part so, one. Yeah. yeah, well, let, let us know in the comments if you guys want us to talk about like specific story arcs that you yeah. guys want to hear about or want to talk about we'll read up on that and then talk about it next time but it's definitely not the last time we'll be talking about X-Men alright but for now it's ano bang howdy na, na goodbye na ano kung may, ba, may babay ang cowboy anong babay na cowboy yeah uh, <laughs> get it up I don't know beans in a can <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's me. Well, again, well, before we go, check us out on Facebook. We'll be on Facebook. Taglish Network. Tambay Taglish. TV. Just like, subscribe to the channel. Let us know. I am Pai Alfajardo once again. You can follow me at... I'm, to, I'm on Twitter. Just type Pai Alfajardo. John's is too cool for that. He's Howdy! Really that. Check out my art at superpail.deviantart.com And oh, I also have a Facebook page, artist page on that. Well, that's it for today. Adios. Hoo-ha.